Yeah, let me get a 50 piece. Then give me a large fry. When we first met Nick Prito last June, oh man, fast food was a way of life. Let me get a beefy melt burrito, five buck box. So in the five buck box, we're gonna get a hard taco burrito. Yeah. I got a gordito with cinnamon twist and a drink. Driving around his neighborhood in Baytown, Texas. See, I can see Burger King, McDonald's. At just 16 years old, Nick weighs an astounding 403 pounds, the result of lots of meals like this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. double stuff Oreo Sonic Blast. I wonder how many calories that is. I asked him to show me what he eats on a typical day. 7,000 calories, three times the suggested daily intake for an adult male. It's both appealing and revolting, isn't it? Yeah. I mean... This alone, right here. Yeah, those are the 50. Yeah. The chicken nuggets. <laughs> but as happy-go-lucky as Nick is, he is not satisfied with his life. He wants to change. Why? Well, one reason... It's going to sound cheesy, but... <laughs> girls. What about girls? <laughs> you know, it's senior year, you know, you want to date the homecoming queen, you, you know, you want to have the cutest girl. I guess just because I've been bigger, it's just nothing has really happened with um, the ladies. But Nick's doctors tell him if he doesn't lose weight, the ladies are going to be the least of his problems. Nick is careening towards an early death. He's already pre-diabetic and suffering from sleep apnea liver damage, and joint pain. Nick believes the only help is a radical one. He's decided to undergo a surgery still highly controversial for teens, gastric bypass surgery. Okay. Nick's surgeon, Dr. Mary Brandt, was hesitant about doing such a major and irreversible operation on a teen. I really didn't think it was a good idea. I mean, metabolically changing someone who's a growing adolescent, to me, made no sense. This is the first generation that's not going to outlive their parents. That's the scariest thing to me. I mean, it, th that's a shocking notion. Absolutely. Have you thought about how your face is going to look different? I mean, everything's going to be different. I know. I'm going to have a real slim face. I'm going to lose, like, this double chin. About to have surgery in three hours and 49 minutes, probably 48 minutes now. But, I mean, who's, who's really counting, you know? There you go. The procedure takes about two hours, completely rewiring the digestive system and reducing the stomach to the size of an egg. You feel a little better? Nick is so confident that he will now be able to lose weight quickly that he makes a bold bet with me. What do you think you're going to be in September? You know what, I'm going to push myself and I'm going to say I'm going to lose 60 pounds. 60? 60. In six weeks, you're saying? Yeah. The weeks after surgery are tough as Nick adjusts to eating tiny portions. Look at you, look how good you look. Seven oh, weeks later, he's oh. come to New York City. Oh. You look amazing. Thank you. It's obvious he has lost a lot of weight. All right, so here we go. What does this number have to be? At least 317. All right, 317 or lower, or yeah. I win the bet. 315.2. That is incredible. You lost. I mean, I, I've never been happier to lose a bet ever. Nick, no, his no. mother Tony, and I go out for a healthy lunch. He tells me it hasn't been easy. He's vomited a lot and has been on an emotional roller coaster. You feel depressed a lot. Like, my emotions have been really kind of thrown everywhere. Like, I cry at sad movies and chick flicks and stuff. But he's determined to keep losing weight and is ready to make an even bigger bet with me. I'm going to go big on this one. Six months, you weigh 315 today. I'm gonna go 100. You're gonna weigh 215 six months from now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you, pal. All right. We stayed in touch with Nick for the last nine months, all through his senior year. He joined the swim team and the water polo team. And a few weeks ago, Nick agreed to meet me in Central Park for the big weigh-in. Look at you! Oh! You feel smaller. Uh, thank <laughs> you, you look fabulous. Thank How you. are you feeling? I feel good. 
he brought a special show and tell that he keeps as a reminder of how far he's come. Oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah, these are when we first met you. Look at this. You've got a whole other person in there. Me and my brother, uh, like the, last week, we actually both of us fit in these jeans. A year ago, his waist was 60 inches. Today, it's 34. And when he stepped on the scale, woohoo, 247. He'd lost another whopping 70 pounds. Not quite the 100 pounds he was predicting, but frankly, nobody could call this kid anything but a winner. In honor of an extraordinary journey that you've let ABC be part of, we just wanted to say you're the most valuable player. <laughs> All right. Put this. You put can this. put your coins in there. Oh, of course. But better than any cheesy Nightline trophy, Hey, what up? Nick now has a girlfriend. And the two just went to the senior prom, a night never to be forgotten. This is a great prom day. I know. Uh, okay. I need to calm down. A year ago, Nick, who just wanted to be a regular kid, is now unstoppable. Cynthia, goodbye. I'm going to prom. For Nightline, I'm Cynthia McFadden in New York.